Okay guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you to all the returning subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Today we're gonna be talking about multi-room audio zoning. And I'm gonna show you what I have and what you can do yourself, which is a cheaper alternative and more versatile. But how many of you would like to be able to go onto your iPad or any Android tablet for that matter and be able to play music in every single room of your home and play a different song in every single room. This is the actual iPad we're playing from and here are the different zones. Master bedroom, guest, bathroom, dressing room, den, dining room, dressing room, garage, guest bedroom, living room, master bedroom, master bath, master bed, mudroom, laundry room, office. And the one links are actually our Alexa enabled carbon monoxide and smoke detectors. We also have the outdoor kitchen, patio, uh, back and patio front. So we have many different zones here and we can add more with the devices we're gonna show you. But we're still working on this room. This is our data center. These are the speakers we have here, the Poke Audio. This is the server room here. And um, we have our nice MA 1240A multi-zone amplifier. So in the case here in my house, 12 channel amplifiers with six zones each. So essentially 18 right here. And the way we have it set up is using um, airport expresses, all right? Using AirPlay 2, it's new upgraded uh, software for the airport express. But the problem with this is they don't make these anymore. So they don't make these airport expresses anymore apple so we have to you know we had to find them when we were doing this to finish the uh the project but we're going to talk about how you can do what i'm doing without without the apple airport express and do it just as good with several additional features whether it's playing through airplay 2 through bluetooth wi-fi dna etc and we have all of our airport expresses plugged into our unify uh, switch here and up in the back a little messy here we have each of our zones uh, designated here all right and you have the speakers in and then you have your RCA cable out which goes to each of the dedicated audio zones uh, which is the Air, Apple Airport Express. So each one of these zones has one Apple Airport Express. All right, and these speakers are all over the house and they come into here. So this is the amplifier, which powers those speakers. And the wireless receiver is the Apple Airport Express. So we will show you what's powering our device in a little bit, uh, but we are gonna show you alternatives to the Apple Airport Express and to having to buy the um, multi-zone amplifier here by Dayton um, but this is a good uh, amplifier the 12 channel 6 zone I'm going to show you one that actually implements both as a wireless receiver a smart speaker wireless receiver so it takes any speaker you have and makes it into a wireless speaker receiver and another device that will actually power any speaker and make it again into a wireless speaker. So if you have power going to it, no problem. We can add a wireless receiver, which works with AirPlay 2 and all the other different connections. Um, and if you don't have an amplified and you need a power source to it, then we're gonna show you an amp that is meant for you and works as the amplifier as well as the wireless receiver. So. Sit tight, if you got any questions, let me know, and we'll show you what you got. Okay, welcome back, and we're in the studio here. And here is the device we're going to be looking at. This right here, they call it the CL Box. And I'll show you all the functions, what it does, uh, what it can't do, but I'm pretty impressed with it so far. So this is an innovative Wi-Fi audio music streaming receiver, and it's able to turn your active speakers, your sound bars, home theater speakers, any speaker for that matter, into a wireless streaming music system. As long as it has 
power and amp going to it, it could make it into a wireless streaming music system. And it's designed um, to be portable. So if you want to have 10 different zones or you want to have um, add one of these to all your different speakers, you can. It's not that big. You can see it compared to my hand here. Um, roughly the size of an Apple Airport Express. So um, it's also easy to set up and user-friendly uh, for music streaming. It has its own app that comes with it. You can download that in the Play Store on your Android or in the Apple um, Store as well. It does have uh, support for Wi-Fi 2.4G and 5G, as well as Bluetooth, auxiliary, optical fiber, and LAN. And the auxiliary uh, makes it good for connecting to older systems, as well as uh, newer systems. And the uh, uh, and the optical fiber for connecting it to your TVs and any other devices or soundbars that do use the um, fiber. And your LAN, so you can actually uh, hardwire this to your um, network, or you can rely on the wireless properties and use it wirelessly. It does also support uh, Amazon and Link Play Multi Room. Uh, supports AirPlay 2 and DLNA, so for Android users, the DLNA. And it streams music from iHeartRadio, Spotify, Tidal, Napster, uh, Cubuzz, Deezer as well as um, from Amazon, like I said. So if you do have an Amazon account with music, you can stream music from any device that you add this onto wirelessly. And that's the beauty of it. They refer to this as the CL-Box, and that's what we will refer to it as the CL Box. And we'll show you how it's implemented. I must also add, it does have Bluetooth 5.0, in addition to the AUX out and the optical fiber output. It has a LAN RJ45 interface, like we said. Also, infrared receiver. So you can, it does come with a remote control, which you can control with, or you can touch the volume up, volume down here. And again, the Amazon multi-room, link play multi-room and AirPlay 2. It does come with a power adapter, uh, which is USB to USB-C. All right, and USB-C plugs into the rear of this device here. And we'll show you how to hook it up. So what I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna hook up the power source. And like I said, we're into the um, USB-C here in the rear, and we'll plug it into a USB port uh, for power. Uh, we will try the wireless route uh, as well as the hardwired route, so I can show you. And then we'll install the app, uh, which is installed, but I'll show you the steps of how to set it up. So what I actually plan on doing is showing you how we make this SoundLink Mini, which is a Bose, uh, tiny little, you know, music, but yet powerful music um, producer and speaker into wireless. And you can see on the back, it does have two ports here. One is for power and one is auxiliary. So I'll go ahead and, and I will plug in the auxiliary into one end here and the other end into the CL box. What do we have? We have the auxiliary plugged into the SoundLink Bose Mini, and the other end plugged into the CL box. This is our audio receiver, and this is our speaker. Now, since the speaker is powered, we don't have to worry about having an amplifier. So all we have to do is add the CL box, um, and we can communicate with this to control this wirelessly. And we're gonna do that through the aux, and this is wirelessly set up to our router. We're going to search for the Muso wireless hi-fi well, system because we want to well, add a device. I'm going to go to my phone's Wi-Fi settings and select the Wi-Fi starting with Link Play or with the Muso. So we'll go ahead and go there. And the seal box here. Connected to the seal box 0F7C. 
Okay, it's going to ask me to connect to my network at home. So now it's connecting the CLL box to my wireless network at home so I can control it wirelessly. And it's showing a Wi-Fi strength of uh, 86%. Uh, it's going to ask me to name it. So we're going to name it at this point and go next. And it wants to connect me to Amazon Alexa, so it's going to ask me to provide my login details. We want English. Your Alexa device is ready. And here we go. So this is our device, the CL Box Zero F Seven C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test using YouTube, and I'll use one of my videos, so it doesn't uh, violate any copyright infringements. So I'll go to YouTube, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, please. I'll type in CMBMD79, and we'll select my channel, and I will just go ahead, and there's a YouTube little promo video I did. And what I'll do is, I will select here and we'll go up into the top right and you'll see all the devices listed here okay and we'll go to airplay and bluetooth devices and what do you know this is the cl box 0f 7c let's go ahead and we will select that and see what comes out of our speaker here So as you can see, we can play through the tablet, uh, through AirPlay 2, to the Air, um, AirPlay 2 receiver, which is also Bluetooth and a number of other things, connected to any powered speaker. All right, so you can take any speaker that's powered and use this seal box. We've showed you how to connect it, now how to use it and play it. If you have any questions, please let us know. Next, we're going to do this. We're going to take a different product and we're going to use a non-powered speaker and hook up a wireless receiver that utilizes Bluetooth, auxiliary, DLNA, AirPlay 2. It's wireless and it'll power in ceiling speakers and wall speakers. It'll power any type of speaker. So it's basically this with the amplifier added to it. It's very versatile. You can build your own speaker system, your own box uh, subwoofer. You can build your own speaker, okay, and make it a smart wireless speaker. Put them in different zones, however you'd like, uh, one in one room, another in another, and they're not that expensive, just as this is not that expensive. You're looking at thirty, forty dollars um, for this. Whereas, if you were to think about doing Sonos, I mean, it sounds great, but just as good out of here, and you're saving a ton of money. So check this out, hey guys. Welcome back. So now, what we're going to be doing is going over the other device I wanted to show you, which is the CL250 watt Hi-Fi stereo audio amplifier. Now, don't forget, this is also a receiver as well. So this will show up under our app we were looking at before and will allow us to wirelessly stream music to and from whatever's put in to the rear of this. We have a nice dial display here um, for Wi-Fi, AUX, Bluetooth, LP, optical, bass, tremble, IR. So this has a remote as well we can use, the power button, and it does have the ability to mount it. So if you're making your own speaker or you want to put it behind a TV, say, because you want to um, create a home theater, you can do that, all right? Now, here's the back of the system. As you can see, we have the WPS uh, reset button. We have the optical input, which we will be using on our uh, 
TV to show you how the TV uh, connected through optical will play music, uh, sound, TV out of here. Then you have your 3.5 analog input interface, which is the AUGS. And then you have your phono input interface, subwoofer output interface, um, your upgrade interface, the DC power interface. So your DC power interface. And then you have your right channel power output and left channel power output. And you also have your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antenna and mic receiving antenna. So what we're going to do is, uh, for testing purposes today, we're going to be using an RC55 Poke Audio. And I'm going to use this to show the wireless audio um, output through the amplifier here. And again, this uses AirPlay, it uses uh, DLNA, uh, Bluetooth, etc. for multi-room control. So sit back, we're going to go ahead and connect the Poke Audio um, input here. And the TV optical will come in here as well. And we'll show you how we can play sound out of the RC55i Poke Audio from the TV. As well as play music from our phone through this as well wirelessly. All right, so you can see here we have the speaker and we have the CL250W Hi-Fi stereo amplifier, audio amplifier, and it's also a receiver as well. So right now I have the TV uh, up there connected to this um, for output through these Poke Audio speakers. So we'll show you what that's like. Um, and then we'll show you what it's like streaming music through this to this. All right, so hold on tight. So the system's already uh, recognized our kitchen CL250, which we, uh, in fact, called it before. So it's up and running, okay? Um, we can connect it to any number of our um, audio favorites here, like Spotify, Napster, Amazon Music, Amazon Alexa. Um, and we will go ahead and uh, select which option we're using um, based on what we want to play through there. So for this, for the phone, um, the audio we want to play is going to be wireless audio. And so that's basically uh, going to be wireless. Um, but for the TV, that's going to be optical. Okay. We will hit optical right now. Um, and we'll go ahead and play that. Okay, so what we're going to show you here is I have some audio um, playing through my YouTube channel so we don't break any copyright laws. And it is optical out from the TV, optical in through this box, and this is the speaker. Um, don't expect any extraordinary sounds right now because we have it on low, but we can always go uh, high on this and we're going to make sure it is on optical. Okay, so it is on optical as you can see. So music should in fact be coming out of the speaker here. And you do hear the music coming out of here. And we can go up on the volume a little bit. So this is just showing you what it does, essentially. So this is playing music through the TV, optical, through here, the amplifier, and to the speaker. And now we'll go ahead and show you the wireless aspect of this and how we will use this as a audio AirPlay 2 Wi-Fi receiver to play audio, entirely just audio through this into the speakers. Again, you can use this device to add, uh, you know, a home audio system to your um, TV. You know, you can put these in the wall with subwoofers and so on. So it's really endless um, and this can power two speakers easily. So let's take a look now at playing audio through this. 
Okay, and you know, to avoid any copyright, I'm gonna play something through YouTube wirelessly, um, which is on my channel, and uh, we'll play it using AirPlay 2. So, what I'm gonna do is the audio is on here. I'm going to simply go to the top here and I'm going to AirPlay and Bluetooth devices. I'm going to select Kitchen CL250W. And you should hear it come right through here. And that you do. And again, this is just for testing. So, you can see wirelessly through this device, uh, which is an AirPlay receiver, AirPlay 2 receiver, hooked up to a speaker. And we did the same using optical through the TV. So we showed you two different products, one with an amp built in, the other with just a uh, audio receiver uh, to create wireless uh, zoned audio. Um, so if you're, any, if you're looking for any solutions, um, your, your home that you know, is smart and is affordable and really gives you what you need in terms of the smart home zoned audio, uh, multi zone audio, multi room audio. You should really be looking at this. And I will share some links um, as to how and where you can get this. That's uh, fairly inexpensive for what it does, as well as for the CL box. You know, these can be implemented into any home setting situation. Um, you can add the CL box to make any speaker a smart, wireless, multi-room, multi-zone speaker. And this amplifier um, can be added to any uh, wall behind the TV to make a nice surround sound um, audio experience for your TV watching needs. But at the same time, it'll also make those speakers that you put in for the surround sound smart speakers so you get two functions out of one any questions please comment thank you for watching thanks to all my subscribers and if you haven't please subscribe and hit the like button